Ahead of the North London derby, Hunmin Son has come out and said, this is war. We want to make the club, the fans and us proud. The Football Insider have stated that Cessnion is considering his options and may leave the club this summer. On Saturday, the Spurs under 18s put five past West Bromwich Albion. Hunmin Son has just been named in the EA Sports team of the season. The Daily Mirror have stated that Spurs are interested in Shakhtar Donetsk star Georgi Sudakov and Spurs are now seven points away from the top four with three games in hand. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all keeping well. This is another edition of Tottenham News, where I'll be going through all of the latest Spurs news, rumours and reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button, like, share and comment below. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit the follow button and leave a review if you can. So let's start by talking about the results in the Premier League from Saturday. Seven games took place. West Ham United drew 2-2 with Liverpool in the early kickoff at the London Stadium. Fulham drew 1-1 at Craven Cottage against Crystal Palace. Manchester United drew 1-1 at Old Trafford against Burnley. Newcastle put five past Sheffield United, 5-1 winners. Uh, Wolves beat Luton 2-1 at Molyneux. Everton beat Brentford 1-0 at Goodison Park. And in the late game, uh, Saturday evening, Aston Villa 2, Chelsea 2. Aston Villa were actually 2-0 up in that game. Chelsea came back. They even thought that they had a winner in the dying seconds, and then it got disallowed. Now, on Sunday, three Premier League games will take place. Bournemouth against Brighton, Tottenham Hotspur against Arsenal, and Forest against champions Manchester City. Now, after Saturday's results, Tottenham Hotspur are now seven points away from the top four. Aston Villa have 67 points from 35 games. Spurs have 60 points from 32 games, meaning that we are seven points away from Villa in fourth spot. We have three games in hand. So Aston Villa have three games left of this Premier League campaign. Brighton away, Liverpool at home, and then on the final day of the season, they will face Crystal Palace away. And Tottenham's remaining six games, of course, Arsenal at home on Sunday, then followed by Chelsea away on Thursday, Liverpool away next Sunday, and then Burnley at home, Manchester City at home, and then on the final day of the season, we will travel to Sheffield United away at Bramwell Lane. A report has just been published by the Daily Mirror and they are stating that Spurs transfer targets agent poses for pictures at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium as talks escalate. Tottenham are among a whole host of clubs uh, showing interest in Shakhtar Donetsk midfielder uh, Georgi Sudakov, but Spurs could experience problems negotiating with the Ukrainian giants if they decided to pursue a deal. The report from the Daily Mirror then states that Spurs met with the agent of Shakhtar Donetsk midfielder Georgi Sudakov in midweek to discuss a potential summer deal. The 21-year-old uh, recently signed a new long-term contract extension with the Ukrainian giants, which include a whopping release clause worth a staggering £127.7 million. Sudakov, who is represented by Ukrainian agency ProStar, has been floated to a number of top European clubs and Spurs are among his list of admirers. In fact, his agent was in North London on Wednesday and posed for a pitch side snap at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium as he ramps up discussions ahead of the opening of the transfer window. The report then states that Spurs are thought to be keen on the player. However, Shakhtar Donetsk are looking to spark a bidding war, which is not to Tottenham's interest. Juventus are also keen, and Napoli saw a £34 million offer for Sudakov rejected out of hand this winter. And Postacoglu's side could also encounter problems with Shakhtar Donetsk if they decided to pursue a deal, as they previously angered their counterparts when tying up the signing of winger Manor Solomon last summer. 20 Premier League players have been named in a EA Sports Premier League team of the season. Uh, one Tottenham Hotspur player has been named in the squad of 20, and that is Tottenham Hotspur captain Hunmin Son, who of course has scored 15 Premier League goals this season and provided nine assists in 29 Premier League matches. 
On Saturday afternoon, the Tottenham Hotspur under-18s were in action in the under-18 Premier League Hotspur way. Ajayi bagged a first-half hat-trick as the under-18s saw off West Bromwich Albion in a high-scoring encounter, uh, winning the game 5-3. Firing us ahead early on, the forward completed his treble after Baptiste had headed home, our second, as we led 4-1 at the break, with uh, Han Wilcroft King adding his name to the score sheet after half-time in an eventual 5-3 triumph. Tottenham Hotspur under-18 coach Stuart Lewis praised Ajayi after scoring his hat-trick against West Bromwich Albion on Saturday. He said, I'm really pleased for him. He's obviously had some exposure to under-21s football and he's done really well for us as well. Um, so it's a testament to his great effort to get the hat-trick. Uh, he has been working hard with Bradley Allen and Jermaine Defoe on his finishing. So I was really pleased for him and it was a good all-round performance from him. After Saturday's win, um, the Tottenham Hotspur under-18s are fifth in the under-18 Premier League table. Played 22, won 12, drawn 3, lost 7. Scored 67, conceded 53. We have a goal difference of plus 14. We have 39 points. Spurs captain Hun Min Son has described the North London derby on Sunday as war. The club captain said, we can't just think about it as a game. This is for the club and this is for our fans. We have the responsibility to make it happen, to send the fans home with chest out, a smile on their face. We want to make them happy. Hun Min Son then went on to say, it is our home and it is going to be war. It's a very important game and time for them and it is for us. We want to make the club and the fans and us proud. Well, Insider and Shoot have both reported that defender Ryan Sessegnon is considering his options and could opt to leave Tottenham Hotspur Football Club during the upcoming summer transfer window. Sessegnon joined the Lily Whites from Fulham back in 2019, but has failed to ever establish himself as a regular in North London. In total, he has played 57 times for Tottenham across all competitions, scoring three times and providing four assists. Now, my thoughts on everything in this episode. Let's start by talking about the gap between fourth and fifth. Of course, Champions League football or Europa League football. Spurs are currently seven points adrift of fourth place Aston Villa. Uh, what a game that was on Saturday evening. Villa taking a 2-0 lead. Chelsea putting it back uh, to 2-2. They thought they'd won it. Uh, Pochettino looked absolutely furious uh, in the dying seconds. It got disallowed. And... Uh, Spurs are seven points adrift with three games in hand. It is in Tottenham's hands to get Champions League football. Of course, Villa now have three games left of this current Premier League campaign. Tottenham Hotspur have six and it starts tomorrow uh, or starts on Sunday against Arsenal. We have to give absolutely everything. We know as fans how important this game is anyway, uh, but it is so important if Spurs want to get into the Champions League and play in the big time again uh, in the best competition in club football. We have got to win on Sunday. Um, and of course, it is a massive week for us. Chelsea away on Thursday. That's going to be a huge game. Um, and of course, Liverpool next Sunday as well away. Uh, another huge game. Um, so, you know, we've had 15 days, though, to prepare for this North London derby. There should be absolutely no excuses whatsoever in, um, you know, the players showing passion, the players pressing all over the pitch and the players giving their absolute all. 15 days to prepare. Uh, the players know how important this is. Um, the fans know how important this game is. And Postacoglu knows exactly uh, what a derby is like. You know, he has uh, managed in Cel you know managed in Scotland for Celtic Rangers. That is a huge derby as well, of course. Um, so, you know, I expect a very, very fiery affair on Sunday. I expect every single player to give their all. And, uh, you know, then walk off that pitch knowing that you've given absolutely everything for the fans. And, uh, of course, the fans watch everything and the fans are very, very passionate and, uh, you know, very up for it. Of course, we all will be uh, when that referee blows the whistle. Michael Oliver blows that uh, whistle uh, come 2 p.m. Um, Hun Min Son has been named in the EA Sports um, team of the season. Um, he's been absolutely fantastic. You know, I always uh, sing the praises of Hun Min Son. 
uh, you know, my favourite ever Tottenham Hotspur player um, that I've seen um, live. Um, fantastic. Always gives his all. And, uh, you know, he's come out and said, this is war. And I love this. I love uh, what Hunmin Son has come out and said, this is war. Uh, we want to make the club, the fans and us proud. Exactly. Um, he gets it. Uh, you know, that, that thing that he said about um, we want to send the fans home with uh, their chest out and a smile on their face. That is exactly how I want to feel uh, Sunday afternoon. It really is. Ryan Sessegnon, considering his options and may opt to leave the club this summer. I think if uh, if he doesn't uh, decide that he wants to leave, I think Spurs will probably uh, call time on uh, on his time at the club anyway. Um, because, you know, we've got to move forward as a football club and we've had so many players out. Um, for long periods of time, um, you know, in recent seasons. And Sessegnon is definitely one of those. Um, so I can see him moving on and I can see the club moving him on. Um, you know, and it's going to benefit both parties, actually, uh, in that regard. Um, it's an interesting one about um, the Georgi Sudakov deal. Um, his agent was actually at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium on Wednesday. So let's see what happens there. Big release clause, but um, let's see what happens. Um, I, I'm expecting a huge summer transfer window um, for Ange Postacoglu and the club. Um, and when, you know, if you've not listened to it, please do check it out on the channel. The full press conference or the embargo press conference from um, Saturday evening. Um, sorry, uh, yeah, fr Friday evening, sorry. Friday evening. Um, Ange Postacoglu has come out and said, again, in 12 months time, we want to be challenging for the Premier League. So I'm sure that he is expecting a massive window. He must have been told by the club or, or, or been given real assurances about bringing in a number of top quality players this summer in order for us, or for, you know, in order for him to think that we can challenge the likes of Manchester City, Arsenal, Liverpool, um, and of course other teams will get stronger um, in the summer as well. So what a huge um, statement it is for Ange to, to come out and say that. And it has not just been once or twice. It's been a number of times now that he has said, you know, in 12 months' time, he wants Spurs to be challenging for the top prizes. So let's look forward to that. Um, let's look forward to, you know, a very, very busy and active transfer window in the summer. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do that subscribe button, like, share and comment below. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Enjoy the North London Derby on Sunday. I'll see you on the next one. Until then, come on you Spurs.